patients who may have experienced catastrophic brain injury. How do we declare brain death? Dr. Kwan. Numerous criteria must be met before determination of blood exams and a confirmatory test such as a brain scan. Correct. How many are there? We raise our hands and we wait to be called on, Dr. Adams. It may seem infantilizing, but it maintains a necessary pecking order that keeps people alive. Dr. Adams. How many are potentially brain dead? 14. Oh. Well, how many are donors? Dr. Griffith. How many of those 14 are potential organ donors? Nine. Whoa, organ balooza. <laughs> I can't overstate how inappropriate that is. I have a dark sense of humor. You don't get to talk for the rest of the day. I, I mean, every one of those organs came from a person who was living their life yesterday, a person with family and friends who are devastated today and praying for a miracle. I'm so sorry. Don't be sorry, just don't talk. the families to move to the waiting room while we run confirmatory tests. We have already alerted the OPO for potential donors. We have transplant surgeons on standby from all over the country to make sure that not one precious life-giving organ goes to waste.